Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the book The American Heiress by Lizzie Goodwin. And I think that the main theme in this book is the struggle between, well, not struggle between, but where you draw the line between self-respect and self-destruction and what kinds of actions you take that can help you to gain self-respect and how far you take them before it becomes self-destruction. So the plot, the book is basically about this girl named Cora, she's an American woman in 1896. She is rich and gorgeous, and she has a really overbearing mother who has this plan for her life that Cora doesn't really want to follow. Her mom wants her to find a husband in England with a really good title because that's where all of the good husbands are. Um, so they move to England, and she meets this really handsome, really awesome man named Ivo. And it turns out that he is the ninth Duke of Wareham. So, of course, they fall in love and they get married and she becomes a duchess. But she's an American duchess, which means that society doesn't really respect her very much because she's not English and she doesn't, you know, understand their ways and their culture and the way they look. So, the struggle that Cora faces is that she has to figure out a way to please her mother and kind of gain independence from her mom who she's been dependent on her whole life and build a relationship with her husband Ivo while still trying to please society and make sure that she meets their standards while still doing what she wants to do and of course raise a baby and start a family. Um, so the biggest difference between or determining factors in self-respect and self-destruction are independence and dependence. I think that Cora found that she, that her independence would help her gain self-respect. If she was able to get away from her mom or if she was able to work outside of what society wanted her to be, that she would gain this self-respect for herself. But if she was so dependent on what her mom wanted her to be, or how her husband wanted her to act, or how society thought that she could be, that she would, in a way, destroy herself and not have any personality. Um, so her independence here is growing up and growing away from her mother, and her dependence comes from her marriage to the Duke, which makes her dependent on what society thinks of her. Um, so here she has this image of self-respect being something like, I am so cool, I don't have to follow the rules of society. She hangs out with, she starts hobnobbing with the contemporaries of society. She's um, hanging out with the artists and all the, the um, high class women of society really judge her for that because you're not supposed to hang out with an artist. She gets a portrait painted of her where you can obviously tell that she's pregnant and her hair is down, which is totally not okay in that time. Um, and she's making a lot of changes to the really old house that her husband has owned for generations, her husband's family. Um, so she thinks that she's going to be this really independent, awesome woman. But what happens is she becomes the laughing stock of society and everyone judges her and they exclude her. And she's not really able to fit in anywhere in society because her mom has basically said, you're doing what you want to do and I'm not going to try to stop you anymore. <clears throat> and her husband kind of distances himself because he doesn't want to get the judgment on him for what she's doing. And she doesn't have any friends because she's an American in English high society. So she tries to run away from her problems. She grabs her baby. She goes to the train station, she's planning on meeting one of her old friends from America, and they're going to run away to France together and become artists and be really poor. But she realizes that doing this would destroy her family. She has a baby, and she really does love the Duke. She just wishes that they could be themselves together. So her trying to become independent and trying to gain her self-respect turns into destruction because she has taken it too far, her independence, she's trying to become too much one person that she's ruining her family, she's ruining her life, she's ruining this other man's life. Um, so if I were to include this in the AP curriculum, I think that it would be a really good book to include actually because 
we as seniors would have to, like we're making a lot of decisions and we're learning about becoming independent and where you, like how far you can take it that you're not abusing your independence, so to say, and you're not going to start destroying yourself with this newfound independence. And that in some ways, being dependent is self-respect. 